In this podcast episode, neuroscientist Dr. Caroline Leaf discusses the science of falling in love and the impact of our upbringing on our ability to form healthy relationships. She emphasizes the importance of mind management in living a healthy lifestyle and explains that our brains, bodies, and minds are designed to support and nurture love and connection. Dr. Leaf begins by explaining that as human beings, we are wired for love and connection. Our brains have specific neural pathways that support these relationships, and our bodies release hormones that promote bonding and attachment. However, our free will and life experiences can disrupt this natural functioning. Negative experiences, such as toxic relationships or traumatic events, can create patterns of thought that impact our ability to form healthy relationships. Dr. Leaf emphasizes the importance of mind management in addressing these negative patterns. By observing ourselves and recognizing patterns of behavior, we can identify negative emotions such as jealousy and envy and work towards resolving them. She shares her own experience of training herself to observe these patterns and encourages listeners to do the same. The podcast then explores the challenges people face in finding and attracting healthy love. Dr. Leaf explains that our brains and bodies are wired for survival and love, but negative experiences can disrupt this natural functioning. These negative thoughts and memories become wired into our brains, leading to physical changes and increased vulnerability to disease. She emphasizes the importance of healing these toxic thoughts in order to attract healthy love in the future. Dr. Leaf also discusses the impact of our parents' relationships on our own ability to form healthy connections. Our parents' love and relationship model greatly influence our own beliefs and behaviors in relationships. If we witnessed a healthy, loving relationship, we are more likely to seek and attract the same. However, if our parents' relationship was toxic or ended in divorce, we may struggle to form healthy connections and may repeat negative patterns. Dr. Leaf suggests that healing and processing these experiences is crucial for creating new, healthy meanings around love and relationships. She emphasizes the importance of changing our relationship with ourselves before we can change our relationships with others. By addressing our own brokenness and healing our own toxic thoughts, we can attract and maintain healthy love. The podcast continues with a discussion on attachment styles and the impact of community support on relationships. Dr. Leaf explains that attachment styles are influenced by our upbringing and the models we witnessed in our parents' relationships. She highlights the importance of community support in raising children and creating a balanced, healthy environment for relationships to thrive. Dr. Leaf also emphasizes the importance of supporting and lifting others up without feeling jealous or envious. She explains that when we genuinely support and love others, it benefits our own mental health and intelligence. On the other hand, toxic thoughts like jealousy and envy can disrupt our brain and microtubule structures, potentially leading to diseases and dementias. The conversation then shifts to the topic of mental health and the need to reconnect as communities. Dr. Leaf criticizes the way mental health is often discussed, as it can create a stigma and view mental health as an illness. She advocates for creating genuine safe spaces where people can share their stories and experiences without judgment. Listening and validating others' experiences is crucial for mental health support. Dr. Leaf also addresses the issue of mental health labels, arguing that they can reduce complex experiences into simplistic diagnoses. Instead of labeling someone as bipolar, for example, it is more helpful to listen to their story and understand their behaviors and emotions. By doing so, we can provide validation and support to individuals struggling with mental health challenges. In conclusion, Dr. Leaf emphasizes the importance of self-work and building a healthy relationship with oneself. Kindness, compassion, and listening to others are essential components of healthy relationships. By working on ourselves and supporting others, we can cultivate love and create healthier partnerships and communities. In the final segment, Dr. Leaf shares her definition of greatness, which is having a good relationship with oneself and being able to tap into wisdom even in the midst of chaos and difficult situations. Overall, the podcast explores the science behind falling in love and maintaining healthy relationships. It emphasizes the importance of mind management, observing oneself, and creating supportive and validating spaces for mental health. Dr. Leaf's insights provide valuable guidance for individuals seeking to improve their relationships and overall well-being. Thanks for watching.
If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe.